yeah, it's one of those weeks. It's one of those weeks. I love these weeks. I love these weeks where we all get to have fun, get hyped, get excited about new products, new announcements, all that kind of stuff. Hey, everybody, thanks for tuning in once again to P-Dubs Arcade Loft, where we always appreciate it. When you hang out upstairs with us, if you're new to the channel, make sure you consider subscribing. Definitely give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Share the video. Spread the word. Got some cool, cool information here from At Games, and we're going to talk about it on this Loft Report exclusive right now. Macho Man, you ready? Oh, yeah! Okay, guys, welcome back. Thanks so much. Now, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed this or not, but we were talking about it throughout the week. We said, hey, uh, on 9-1, the Legends Gamer Reservations are going to go live once again. So if you missed out on getting a Legends Gamer earlier this year, you could definitely go ahead and get your orders in. What's really cool is, you know, when you're on the At Games website, all you have to do is click on your Legends Arcade family, go to products, and underneath products, select your Legends Gamer. And I definitely want to get your guys' uh, feedback on this stuff. What's going on, Steve? What's going on, Retro Gaming Live? What's going on, Bobby? Thanks for joining the show. So you'll notice that underneath the Legends Gamer, uh, you can go ahead if you want to get the standard Legends Gamer. Uh, this one doesn't have the trackball for $199. So that one is live again, as well as the Gamer Pro, which is the one that I just recently reviewed on my channel. The Gamer Pro is live once again for $249 as well and the one that gets us all kind of excited is we love new products right we love new products we love looking at new things and all that kind of stuff and right here we have our legends gamer mini pre-orders you can go ahead and reserve right now and we're going to talk about it and kind of also explain some things here for you um so the legends gamer mini includes slots for the optional pinball kit which i'll show you guys the pinball kit it, it's kind of the same pinball kit that's up here on the legends gamer but I definitely wanted to get your guys' thoughts on the design here. So here, here's the Legends Gamer Mini. Now, keep in mind, the pinball buttons don't come included on the Gamer Mini. This device only cover. This device is only 100 bucks. Now, when I take a look at this, and I'm like, okay, you got a one-player fight stick with uh, 100 games built in. You have, you know, the eight buttons and all that kind of stuff. When I look at that, and it's 100 bucks. Plus, you have 100 games built in and the ability to run the whole At Games Legends ecosystem on it pretty much just like you do on their other products. Um, that gets me excited because there's a lot of good fight sticks out there for playing, you know, games on your PC and stuff, playing Steam games, playing fighting games, all that kind of stuff like uh, the 8-Bit Doe, which we just talked about on my show last night. And, you know, that thing is $89. This is 10 bucks more. 10 bucks more, you get you get so much more, right? Um, but then again, the one thing that this caveat is, it probably won't connect to your Nintendo Switch, right? But it will connect to your PC for Steam games and all that kind of stuff. Um, I find this very exciting. I definitely, what's going on, Fire Island? I don't need two sticks. I have no friends. There you go, Kev. I love it. I love it. I love that comment. $99, guys, and you get all this stuff included with it. Now, let me know what you guys think of how this thing looks. I mean, in all honesty... I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I mean, th this thing is going to be great. It'll be right here on my desk playing some games, uh, playing some games. Let's take a look at it from the more profile view here. There you go. You'll notice that the stock photos do not include the pinball kit because the pinball kit you have to add separate. This thing is looking pretty slick. <laughs> now let's kind of take a look here. Now, if you did add the pinball buttons, look at this. That's kind of hot. I mean, in all honesty, I mean, I know everyone knows I'm an At Games fanboy. I mean, I, I I like their products. I like doing videos on it. I got to admit, that looks pretty cool, you know, if you want to do some one-player pinball and get all that on here as well. Um, but let's kind of dive into a couple other things that we found out on the website. So if you click on um, View Featured Games, so this thing will come with 100 games. However, the only games list they revealed were 30 right here, 30 out of the 100. So we don't know what the other 70 games are. And of course, they have them in alphabetical order. You notice, once again, we have a mixture of console and arcade games. And then, you know, we got good ones here. We got a bunch of Taito stuff. We got Bubble Bobble. We got Burger Time. I'm sorry, not Burger Time. Burger Time's not Taito. Space Invaders. 
You got Tetris games, Zookeeper, Joe and Mac. So these are the featured games. We don't have the entire list. I'm assuming the shipping should be relatively cheap because this is a much smaller product. It probably weighs, if I had to guess, because the, the Gamer Pro weighs about eight pounds, if I had to guess half of that, so a four pound item that would need shipped. Um, and let's take a look here at, uh, did I pull it up already? Bear with me, guys. Nope, we don't want that. Let's go ahead and click on reserve now. So you'll notice retail price, $99 plus shipping. They'll add shipping later. We don't know what the shipping is going to be. You can go ahead and add it to the cart. Get your reservations in now. Um, let's see here. 100 licensed games built in. And, of course, the featured game list, they only reviewed 30 so far. We really need to figure out what those seven, those other seven uh, games are. And, of course, it has the entire At Games ecosystem. It's got Bluetooth support built in. Wi-Fi, Ethernet, all that kind of stuff. You know, it's going to come with the core and all that stuff. So it's just a mini Gamer Pro. Now, currently right now, they do say that this is available only um, for United States. Uh, it says here, shipment for customers within the United States only. I'm really hoping At Games can expand to our, definitely at least our brothers to the North Canada. I know a lot of Canadians, a lot of good friends of mine are uh, waiting to have this product as well. Um, now what's interesting guys is the pinball kit. So let's kind of talk about that. Cause I, I automatically saw some folks questioning this on the fan page. Uh, this kind of leaked out earlier this morning and some folks said, well, what about that pinball kit? It says it's Bluetooth compatible. Can we get the pinball kit connected to our version one at games cabinet? Unfortunately we can't. Well, what you guys should do is make sure you guys check out Rostalgia's uh, video where he did a review of the Legends Gamer Pro. He actually took the machine apart, which was awesome, and showed everybody. Now, when you're looking at the this pinball kit here, just like um, the Gamer Pro, uh, there are contacts, right? There are contacts right in here, right? There's three little contacts, and there's a little sensor plate, right? So this thing is going to mount the same way to this device as it, that it does to the gamer pro and of course underneath here you have those little mini uh the little mini um uh, controller boards and all that kind of stuff your legends ultimate version one does not have that so you're not going to be able to get this hooked up to your version one legends ultimate this uh this pinball kit mm -hmm. but you are going to be able to get it hooked up to the gamer pro and all that kind of stuff but yeah the these pinball buttons are not bluetooth guys i, I saw someone asked a question earlier today on the on the fan page these are a direct connection which allows for the best experience i wouldn't want my pinball buttons to be bluetooth connected because that might end up causing lag or delays or things like that um let's see here let me see here hundred dollars is like playing a uh, one game and getting the system for, for free can i use this with the switch as a controller as of right now i don't think so um and that's kind of the difference between this and probably like that 8-bit dough and the may flash and the other arcade one player arcade fight sticks because the may flash is what 70 70 bucks the 8-bit doughs are like 80 90 bucks I mean, this is a hundred bucks. You can't connect it to a switch, but you can connect it to a whole bunch of other stuff, right? So that's just kind of the trade-off there. And of course, you're getting the whole at games ecosystem built in, which doesn't come with all those other one player fight sticks. So I think that's pretty, pretty cool. Um, let's kind of take a look at and I'm on my lunch break here, but I figured we we would kind of huddle up. Definitely, guys, put your feedback in the live chat right now. Let me know what you guys are thinking of this product so far. I definitely want your honest feedback. I would greatly appreciate it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Definitely throw it in there. Yes, yes, the, this has an OS. It comes with that Legends Core right there, this puck. So there's the brains. It's going to come with the Legends Core, guys. So you're going to be able to have the entire Legends ecosystem um, built in. So yes, great question, great question. Does the puck... Does the puck worth with the pro also well i mean it, it, the pucks are all you, you know i would assume they're going to be universal so you could probably have you know your puck and connect it to the gamer mini or the gamer pro that kind of stuff the gamer mini is like the arcade one-up version of a countercade <laughs> that's pretty funny so yeah guys keep that honest feedback coming while you're doing that i want to pull up this uh pinball kit here so let's let's see if we can find it 
products. We're going to go under accessories. You'll notice how this is no longer. Remember, guys, this was all grayed out, and now it's not. Now we can. Now we can actually get in there <laughs> and see everything. Uh, so let's see here. And of course, uh, it will work with your uh, your LED marquee. If you did want to have it connected to that, it will work with the light gun, and it will work with the uh, separate pinball kit, which is pretty cool. And here's the pinball kit, and the pinball kit now is available as well, guys. So if you wanted to order one. Retail price fifty dollars. So you could get you could get the gamer mini for what a hundred, and then uh, fifty more for this pinball kit. But you'll notice, you know, this is all the it's got the direct connection plates. So it's not going to be yeah compatible with the Legends Ultimate version one point one and the gamer units. It's not compatible with the it would be eighty eight hundred if it was version one point zero. So it's not compatible with that. Only weighs a half a pound, all that kind of stuff. Let me see here. Catching up on the chat. You like the one with the double control in the trackball? Yeah, yeah, I have it right here, guys. I have it sitting right next to me. It's pretty awesome. Make sure you check out the review video. And would be dope if there's a way to add a pinball. Yeah, it would be dope. It would be dope. I mean, there's a way you can kind of manually do it. Some guys have done some pinball mods. Definitely join the Facebook fan page. You'll find those posts. And I think a couple guys did tutorials. Let's see here. Pinball. It would be much more enticing if the pinball kit was included. That That's fair. You know, I'd like, I, I want to see that on his feedback, guys, because we definitely, I'm pretty sure at games might be watching this show as well. So I definitely want them to know your honest feedback. You know, um, let's see here. I'd like to put pucks on multiple TVs and then be able to swap controllers. Yeah, see, that's my theory, and that's a great question, Brian. So let's kind of let's kind of back out of here real quick. So if you guys remember, the Legends Core right here is coming soon as a separate product. So you know, in a couple of my videos I made two weeks ago, I did mention that hey, these Legends Cores, if they're selling them separately, you know what that means? It sounds like you're going to have a whole kind of like a Roku system in your house or an Amazon system in your house. You could probably put these cores in different rooms on different TVs. That way, the only thing that needs to travel is your gamer, uh, your gamer pro or your gamer mini for room to room. You know, you're not going to have to, you know, you unplug everything from the back of one TV, then go plug it back into another. Also, you know, unplug one Ethernet cable, plug it in again. You know, that could be a pain in the butt. So as long as these Legends cores come out at a good price. I don't know what would be a good price, but as long as they come out at a good price, I wouldn't mind picking up a couple and just mount them to a couple TVs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see here. I think the mini is awesome. The website says comes with 100 and 150 games, so they don't decide yet. Uh, I thought it said 100. Let's go back and look. Reserve now. It comes with 100, guys. 100 games built in. So far, they've only released... 30 games on the on the games list. They haven't released the full games list, list yet. At games, let's get that full games list. Come on, guys. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Uh, okay, let's talk about a couple housekeeping items and uh, and all that kind of stuff. Hold on. Where did that nice picture go? Where did it go? There. Nope, not that one. Oh, here we go. Well, either way, I think it's cool looking. Um, let's see here. Is Legends Connect an app ecosystem marketplace to choose the games you want on your core? Legends Connect. So Legends Connect, guys, that is a totally different. So this right here, this Legends Connect, that's still like, you know, Area 51, top secret classified. But from what we, but from what we can decipher is that appears to be a motherboard, right? And the one thing I did confirm is it's not meant to be a motherboard that you would try to install into a competitor's arcade machine. I know we did an experiment video on that a few months back on my channel. It's definitely not that. They don't even want to go down that road. And why would they, considering the At Games ecosystem requires these widescreen, high-definition monitors versus, you know, those um, 4x3s or 5x4s, whatever comes on the competitor products. Um, but it definitely appears to be a motherboard, what you're going to put it in. My speculation was do-it-yourself projects, build your own cabinets, build your own cocktail tables, all that kind of stuff. So we'll find out more. And obviously, once you know, once I actually find out, I'll definitely keep you guys posted as long as they give me permission to do so and all that kind of stuff. 
A um, couple housekeeping items, guys. So uh, this week is going to be huge uh, for the At Games brand. We got a lot of big stuff coming out. We got the big 5.0 firmware. You guys want to tune into Legend Center tomorrow night. The firmware will not be released until after Legend Center. We've, I've, we've put together a pretty cool presentation to walk you through it because this is probably one of their biggest firmwares ever. There's a lot of things changing and a lot of things being added. Uh, so, we, I, you know, not spreadsheets. I'm not going to get you guys with the spreadsheets. I know you guys don't like P-Dub spreadsheets, even though I love them. I got, I got a PowerPoint presentation this time. So we got a PowerPoint presentation. We're going to walk you through all the changes for 5.0. And then after the show, um, the firmware will be released. Uh, so keep that in mind for tomorrow. And also, we're going to be uh, showing off. Last week, we said we're going to be showing off a brand new product. Um, obviously, the embargo got lifted earlier than we thought it would. So obviously, we're going to be showing off the Legends Gamer, as well as some content for the Gamer, as well as we'll be talking about the Gamer Mini and all that kind of stuff. And as always, guys, I'm doing whatever I can to get you pinball information. So just bear with me. I'm doing whatever I can, scraping, clawing, begging, pleading to get you information on the pinball unit. So once I get that, um, you guys will have that as well. I like this. Scott J. Spreadsheets make all this possible. I dig the ACDC shirt. Absolutely. And we got the mini gamers, exactly what I've been waiting on. And I'm handicapped, and this is perfect for me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Easy to hold, easy to use, all that kind of stuff. Do me a favor, guys. If you like the news flash, the news break here, the loft report, definitely uh, leave a thumbs up on your way out. Click that subscribe button. Make sure you ring the bell. That way you don't miss any other content. Uh, without hitting that bell, guys, you might miss it. And if you might have noticed, I've been dropping at least a video a day lately. We've been we've been a content machine. Uh, so hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys don't miss all that stuff. But do me a favor, guys. If you um, if you came in late, leave your watch the replay, give your comments, let me know what you guys think of uh, this particular product. Would love to hear your honest feedback about this one player fight stick. I think it's looking, I think it's looking pretty pretty cool. And guys, don't forget to tune into Legend Center tomorrow. Uh, we've had a couple of slow weeks, so the last two episodes have been kind of. Eh, you know, because, you know, we're waiting for this stuff. Well, we're going to have a really fun show planned for you tomorrow, so I really hope to see you guys there. Um, and after all that stuff, guys, thanks as always for your support. means a ton to me, and uh, we'll talk to you soon, okay, guys? Get your reservations in.